Okay, welcome to the screencast about Lnode, the Emacs Lisp web server. Lnode is a web server written in Emacs Lisp that runs inside your Emacs. It's kind of like Node.js in that it's asynchronous and not threaded. Um, and I'm going to take you through how to install it, um, what it does out of the box because it comes with um, some some things already ready and maybe we'll write a quick Lnode handler at the end so you can see how the code works. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory uh, for installing it in so that it doesn't get confused with my Emacs. I'm going to start Emacs with no windows and uh, the minus Q just turns off my config so nothing but the base Emacs standard config. Uh, okay, and then I'm just going to pull in this script which allows me to use the Marmalade package repository to install Lnode. So we just have to wait while it makes the network connections. And uh, now I can package install Lnode. Okay, so now Lnode is installed. I can list the processes. You can see that Lnode is running there. So now if we go to a browser and yeah, that's being served by Lnode. So this HTML page and this image are being served by Lnode. You can refresh a couple of times. This um, is Directory index is being constructed by our node on the fly. Let's just open this image to make sure that that's all being handled correctly. Okay, you can see that although it's this L node, this Emacs that's uh, that's doing the work, Emacs itself is it's not affected. It's still fine. I can still type. Um, perhaps more interestingly, though, L node comes with a wiki. Uh, so this uh, wiki is being served by L node in that Emacs. You can see that it's got syntax highlighting. Here's some Lisp code. This is actually from Lnode's wiki itself. Um, it's got a table. This is being constructed by Emacs's org mode, and Lnode is um, merging the output. You can do uh, dynamic Lisp to construct the wiki text, and that's what's happening here. So most wikis you need to be able to update, and uh, we don't seem to be able to update this, but there's a login. Um, to add a user though, we need to come back to uh, Emacs first and fourth user add. I'm going to add a user with my usual username and a special, very secret password. So, and there we and my special, very secret password. And now we're logged in. When we go to the bottom, we can see the wiki text in, the, in this text box which allows us to update it if we like. Let's just go through quickly you can see there's the syntax highlighting instruction and further down we can see that there's the table that looks just like an org mode table. Um, this column value or uh, field value is being um, constructed automatically like just like in a spreadsheet uh, that's a, an org mode feature. Here's the uh, dynamic lisp uh, so you can see that that's constructing things beginning with styles, which is what a, a list item looks like. If you remember, you go back and look above. That dynamic lisp is is just constructing a list, which is uh, rather ironic, I always think. And uh, there we go. So that's the end of the file. We can go to the top, and let's just prove that it uh, it does update. Let's prove that. It does update, and um, there we go. Okay, what about adding new files? You can't add new files with uh, the web front end yet, but um, you can do if you want to is add new files in here. This is the directory structure, which is totally configurable. Um, let's just add a new file, new create, 
do. Whoops. I'm a terrible typist. Okay, and then let's just go here. New grill. There we go. Now let's update this. Okay. Now you can see that it updated in Emacs. Okay, and uh, there's the file. So that's uh, the web server, the wiki. So if we've got time now, we could just add a little demonstration of how to write an Emacs L node handler. So this is a Emacs list mode in Emacs. We're going to write in a defone nick demo handler. All Lnode handlers take a, an HTTP com. Um, and then we, it's rather like Node.js, so um, we have to uh, start the response. And you can see that I used completion there. Uh, I also, I can't remember what these parameters are, so I'm going to turn on LDOP mode. And it tells me I need an HTTP con, I need a status, and any header. So I'm going to use content type text HTML. Um, I didn't know how that worked. I could pull up the documentation, and there we are. You might find the comp documentation more valuable that way. So um, I'm going to turn on show parent mode in order to um, see about there. Now we want to like, return this response. HTTP return you see is an HTTP con and some optional data. So let's just return a very simple Okay, now if we evaluate that buffer, but how to serve this? Well, we can start an Lnode handler um, through Emacs very simply like that. You can see that it completes that for me. I can use any function. So let's use port 8005. Okay, let's switch back to here and 8005. Hello world. Okay. Now um, let's just prove that that works. If we reevaluate that, what happens? Excellent. Now let's uh, see if we can debug that. Control U, Escape, Control X, which is how to evaluate something with the debugger. Now when we hit it, you can see that the browser is hanging. That's because Emacs has entered the debugger on this handler, we can come through and we can step through the code. We go back and it's completed. Um, now if we want to stop that handler, we can stop that handler quite easily by turning off 8005. And if we want to uh, put the start automatically in this buffer, then we can do that as easy as that. Okay, so now it will have started again and we'll stop it again. So that's a very brief overview of Lnode, um, the web server, the wiki which it comes with by default and just adding a simple new handler um, to do uh, something fairly trivial. Lots more is possible with Lnode. I do hope you'll give it a look. Thanks for watching.